what is going on guys? So today I'm going to be upgrading the hard drive and RAM in my laptop. It's a Dell Studio. It's about five years old. It has a 500 gig hard drive and four gigs of RAM. It's got a i3 processor in it. It's uh, still a good computer and does me well for when I'm not at home. So what I've got to put in it are a 8 gig kick kit of Corsair Vengeance, 1866 memory, and a Gell Zenith A3 120 gigabyte hard SSD. So I'm going to get this installed and I'll uh, let you guys have a look at it after I've put the, the RAM in the SSD. Okay, so I have the kit of Vengeance RAM and the SSD now in here. And I've got the hard drive and old kit of RAM out. So, uh, as pretty as uh, this kit of Vengeance may look with uh, its gold, that's not the reason why I'm putting it in here. So, uh, I might just overlay on the screen right now while I'm talking the performance specs for this SSD and uh, the RAM. However, the RAM isn't as important as the SSD. So, uh, I got an awesome deal on the RAM. It was about 50% off, uh, and about $50 off this SSD. So in total, this upgrade ended up costing me approximately $100 with tax and shipping. So for a five-year-old laptop, with this being almost a sixteenth of the price of the laptop, it's a pretty good upgrade. So what I'm going to do next is I've got a Windows 10 preview build on a USB. I've got here and I will be installing that on here on the laptop since it's not my daily computer and uh, I'll get you some performance numbers and I'll wrap up the video. Alright guys so here we are we've landed on the Windows 10 setup so all 8 gigs of the Vengeance RAM were recognized, which is awesome. So now I'm going to go ahead and get through the setup. And I'll give you guys another look when we land on the desktop and I've run some performance benchmarks. Alright guys, so here we are. I've got uh, Windows 10 all booted up. This is just the insider preview. So uh, here are the crystal disk mark results. Now they're not nearly as good as the specs of what the SSD should be so I'm either taking this to be due to the Windows 10 or that uh, it's just not as good of SSD as I may have thought. Uh, they claim here, I can't see that with the light. They claim that it's uh, 540 megabytes per second and 300 megabytes per second. So I'm getting uh, almost exactly half of what uh, they've claimed. So I will be looking into this, but right now my laptop is extremely speedy and for such a simple upgrade at such a low cost, it's definitely worth it, and I would uh, recommend that to all you guys who have older laptops and they need a bit of a boost. So I'll uh, wrap up the video for now. Like and subscribe if you uh, like this sort of video, and thanks for watching.